the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 36, Leviticus 11 to 13. Leviticus 11 to Daniel 1. God wanted the people of Israel to keep a healthy lifestyle by acting holy before Him, starting from detailed parts such as eating. First point. Without Leviticus chapter 11, there would be no Daniel chapter 1. Leviticus chapter 11 is like a mother instructing her child not to eat junk food. Looking into its contents, it instructs which animals are clean to eat and which are not. We can see just how important this was later on in the book of Daniel. When Daniel is taken captive to Babylon as a teenager, he decides not to eat the food and wine of the Babylonian Empire. So why did Daniel make such a decision? This was down to his parents educating him about Leviticus chapter 11. Daniel therefore stuck to the laws written in Leviticus chapter 11. This, in the long run, meant that Daniel was ready to be used as God's prophet rather than a slave of the Babylonian Empire. Like this, Daniel lived his entire life by keeping the laws given by God to Moses, so much so that the people who wanted to see his downfall had to look up the Pentateuch in order to trap him. At this, the administrators and the satraps tried to find grounds for charges against Daniel in his conduct of government affairs, but they were unable to do so. They could find no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor negligent. Finally, this man said, we will never find any basis for charges against this man Daniel unless it has something to do with the law of his God. Leviticus was what Daniel stood by for all his life, even as a high-ranking official of an empire. Second point, God is the nutritionist for human abundance and growth. No one knows more about the human body than God. God knows everything there is about which food is most healthy and suitable for the human body. God told the Israelites through Moses what exactly the human body needed to eat in order to be fit and healthy. God wants humans to live a healthy and a wholesome life by consuming the best possible food. I am the Lord your God. Consecrate yourselves and be holy because I am holy. Do not make yourselves unclean by any creature that moves along the ground. Third point, maternity leave is God's holiness. God's greatest interest lies in human life. God gave woman a separate time to have maternity leave so that she can recover her body and also reflect on the miracle of life. According to a kingdom of priests, women must keep their maternity leave and once it is over, she must offer a burnt offering and a sin offering. But if she cannot afford a lamb, she is to bring two doves or two young pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make a torment for her and she will be clean. Fourth point, a priest must learn of by heart Leviticus chapters 13 and 14. Leviticus chapter 13 covers what there is to know about skin disease, and chapter 14 covers the details on cleansing from defiling skin diseases. These standards were not made by the priest, 
but by God himself. Thus, it was crucial for the priest to memorize the 116 verses in order to deal with those with skin diseases. Fifth point, the role of the priest was to mediate between God and humans as well as between the people and their neighbors. The reason God made the role of a priest was to make sure that the relationship between God and the Israel nation would be maintained as well as the relationship between the people themselves. And so it was important that the priests had knowledge on God's commands. They had to know all about the five offerings as well as the other roles given by God. Knowledge on skin disease was particularly important. In cases of defiling skin diseases, be very careful to do exactly as the Levitical priests instruct you. You must follow carefully what I have commanded them. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.